I get this question asked a lot, and I would say if I'm trying to sum up what the job of an independent duty corpsman is, it's um... And being an independent duty corpsman is being like the highest person in the rate. IDCs deploy on ships, with naval special warfare, with small boat teams, with EOD, with the Marines. They're really like a jack of all trades, to be honest. What it means to be an independent duty corpsman is that at one point in your career, you will have someone's life in your hands. Uh, so what are you gonna do? What kind of IV are you gonna start? I got three patients. The training to be an independent duty corpsman is quite brutal. Today we're at Strategic Operations, which is a hyper-realistic trauma training facility in San Diego, California, that we use to train IDC students at Surface Warfare Medical Institute. This training is so realistic, it gives me goosebumps. I think first off, when you come in here, you see a big desert village, and you start wondering, what did I get myself into? And then you walk into the DDG area and be like, holy cow, we have a ship here as well. And then all of a sudden, they start hearing explosions and gunfire. And that's part of actually training the student to be able to block out some of these sounds and focus on what we're training for. We're not training them to be a patrol corpsman. We're not training them to be a Marine. What we're doing is we're training them to be an actual lifesaver, independent duty corpsman. Doc, what is going on with this patient? Real life experience is always a little bit different and we can't cover everything and we can't have everything perfect, but what we're doing is we're, we're getting them exposed to as much as possible. So when they are um, exposed to it in the fleet in real life, that it's not such a shock and they can move on and do what they're trying to do. It's definitely stressful, definitely uh, realistic with the actual amputees and the, and the cut suits. So it really looks like they have a, they're missing a leg or an arm. Um, and so that was, was really real. It was, it was very stressful because it's you're trying to remember everything you were taught during school, everything you taught in class, and you're uh, actually re applying it in real life. It was, it was pretty crazy out there. The more sweat here is the less blood when we're deployed. So if I can get all these kinks worked out now before they get to the fleet, I'm just providing a better product for my friends that are deploying right now. And to be honest, to relieve the senior IDCs in the fleet that need to, need to be relieved. I think this training is absolutely critical for an independent duty corpsman of these days. I'm very passionate about training my relief and I'm very passionate about this type of training because it's so realistic and will save lives in the fleet. One, two, three, down! Alright, I gotta get out.